Hello and welcome to ABC News. I'm Mariam Saab. Australia's entertainment industry is mourning the loss of one of its most enduring and beloved talents. Bert Newton has died at the age of 83 after several years of poor health. For more than five decades, Bert Newton delighted audiences across radio, television, stage and the screen, winning 15 Logies, including four gold. Bert Newton is survived by his wife Patty and two children, Lauren and Matthew, and grandchildren. It's the end of a golden era. Richard Willingham takes a look back. Graham Kennedy might have been labelled the king of television, but... Without you, I'm nothing. Without you, I'm nowhere. Bert Newton became its enduring face for more than 50 years. He was responsible for some of the most memorable moments in Australia's television history. Wait till my missus finds out that I've had Bert Newton in the car. Oh, she loves you. And some awkward ones. Uh, who out there wins this? It will be a shock. <laughs> I like the boy. <laughs> did, did, he, did, he say, did you say Roy or boy? I like the boy. There's something wrong with saying that. Having started his media career as a teenage radio announcer in Melbourne during the 1950s, Newton landed his first television job with Channel 7 before becoming Graham Kennedy's straight man on Channel 9's In Melbourne Tonight. Well, my gosh, this is a great surprise. <laughs> in the 1970s, he briefly hosted his own show on the ABC. I hope that at some stage uh, I have the opportunity of entertaining you again anywhere in Australia, not necessarily the ABC, Channel 7, Channel 9, Channel O, Channel 10, <laughs> anywhere. And for more than a decade, he was with Channel 10 as the host of Good Morning Australia. Despite roles with all major networks, Bert Newton will always be linked to Channel 9, where he cultivated the role of sidekick into show stealer with such aplomb, he was racking up gold logies, largely for his cameos on The Don Lane Show. What has Travolta got that I haven't got? All the while cementing a reputation as Australia's best master of ceremonies and the host of the Logies. I was nominated 11 times, 11 consecutive years, uh, including five years for the best new face. <laughs> Even when he wasn't hosting the Logies, he had a presence that easily upstaged those around him. That presence took him to musical theatre, where he also shone. In 1974, he married Patty McGrath with an estimated 10,000 fans outside the church. The pair were TV royalty, their two children following in their footsteps. In 2008, Bert Newton was named Victorian of the Year. Australia's television industry is in mourning. As it says goodbye to the man called Moonface, who became one of its brightest stars. And Prime Minister Scott Morrison has released a statement paying tribute to the late entertainer on Twitter. In closing, the Prime Minister says, Australia loved Bert, there will never be another like him. Mr Morrison goes on to send his and the country's love to Bert Newton's wife Patty and his family. 